The Inspector General of Police, Major General Stephen Sabiti Muzei, has challenged Ugandans to embrace integrity in rendering services to the public. Sabiti underscores the need for organizations to revise recruitment processes to avoid corruption and tribalism. He was speaking during the closure of a two weeks ideological training for anti corruption unit and UNRWA staff at National Leadership Institute, Changkwanzi. To showcase their worth were these members of staff of the State House and Corruption Unit of Uganda. They had just completed a two weeks ideological training alongside staff from Uganda Revenue Authority, Uganda National Bureau of Standards, and some youth. They were trained in martial arts, foot drills, as well as dismantling and assembling the gun. One of the prominent trainees and finalists was URA's Commissioner General, Doris Akol. We have deliberately decided to take a position of thought leadership. Thought leadership in the work we do and in the way we behave. My expectation is that we will not only improve in the way we carry out our duties, but we will also increase our influence in the nation and in the communities where we live. Top among the agenda was the gospel against corruption, a campaign that the State House and Corruption Unit has spearheaded over the last couple of months. At State House and Corruption Unit, in our 14 months, of operation, 120 government officers have been arraigned to courts of law. 99 of them have been interdicted. We have won nine convictions. We have recovered over seven billion cash and returned it to the consolidated fund. We have ensured that the, our youth have been suffering with um, human trafficking, especially the domestic workers. We've been able to that about 472 million has been paid back to them. The companies had taken money and had not taken them. Such progressive statistical data is the milestone that the unit looks forward to concretizing. Our gathering here together for the last two weeks should be used as an opportunity for building new relationships to encourage each other in the fight against corruption because the fight against Corruption needs collective efforts. To achieve this, however, requires integrity at all levels of one's life. An emphasis made by Deputy Inspector General of Police, Major General Sabi Timzei. We are all sinners. The only thing is to refine yourself and not justify what is actually wrong. And you know, we sin. We are human beings. We sin. But let's try to Reboot. Sabiti decries corruption and tribalism as negative vices that could destabilize any locality, including Uganda. Keep your promises, even if it takes extra effort. Common thing, simple. Go back to the store or shop and pay for something that you forgot to pay for. It looks small, but it tells a lot about you. The two weeks training comprised 171 personnel from different government agencies. These included 47 from the State House and Corruption Unit, 33 from UNBS, 20 from URA, while 69 were youths. Henry Okurut, UBC.